So the find object wizard is under window objects in code builders. Click on it and that launches it and it gives us an easy way of identifying an element. Whereas perhaps in the if you're used to if you if you if you're a long time user of Mac Schedule you might have done something like this and then which gives you a list of all the windowed controls and it allows you to to drill down but obviously that's a bit tedious. Note we've also added a um, there you go. We've also added a, a, a sort of a find object thing on there to make that a little bit easier. But in the old days, that's what you would have done. Um, and this is just windowed controls. These are the basic building blocks of of, of elements of objects in in Windows. Um, but to, to be in this list they have to have handles which means they are windowed controls and what you'll notice is there's a limit to what you can do with them that's just a button and there's, there's obviously lots of buttons um, there's, and the button is the class name that's the handle there which is obviously given to it when it's created so that will change every time so there's a limit to what we can do there because we don't really know which button it is um, well we know it's a, it we know it we, in terms of the sequence we know which button it is so we might have to use a number. And let's just go back to the find object wizard and show how we can do that. So let's find that button and just insert the code and what we've got is some code which you might have seen before which basically gets the handle of the calculator this is fairly low level stuff and then it using the handle of the parent window the calculator it then tells it to look for a button of uh, an object of class name button it wants the 14th instance of a object with a class name button and that then returns its handle and we've also got its position so we could now send some keystrokes for example if we wanted to click on that we could perhaps do something like um, we probably want an offset because that's going to be the top left of the position so let's just let's just do something like this for now then we could click on it there you can see that it's moved the bat the mouse to it so that will work with any windowed control and it's an easy way of finding finding the control but there's something new which makes this even easier let's go back to the find object wizard and I think you'll like this what we can do is we can drag again to there and notice this extra information here UI automation name 9 it's identified the actual button you'll notice that when we looked in view system windows it didn't have that name 9 that's because this UI automation name thing is using something called Microsoft's accessibility framework and that is something that was designed initially really to give to make to make applications accessible to things like screen readers also for automated testing um, now what you can do with it is going to depend on you know the application and it's going to vary from one application to the next because a lot will depend on how the application whether the application developer has made it accessible and how how accessible they've made it while windows will try to if it's a if it's a standard if the application's been built with a standard windows framework it will try to give accessibility information um, based on the button caption for example or the label um, so even if the developer hasn't sort of knowingly used it and exposed the controls windows will give you some information whether or not you're going to be able to do anything with them once once discovered is obviously down to experimentation because we don't know every application that's out there you're just going to have to try it but this gives you a great way of trying it so having just identified that and this time I'm going to say if available use accessible UI object and I'm going to say click it okay and we see that nice simple to understand little bit of code UI click calculator is the window main window title and the button is 9 so I'm saying I want to click the object called 9 on the window called calculator and by the way that could be uh, we can make that into a into a um, substring match if we want or a regex or a window handle in the same way as all the other windows functions in Mac Schedule. so if I just run that bit of code you can see that it very helpfully clicks 9 so that works beautifully in this particular case as I say you may well find applications where although it shows you that there's a button there when you try to do a UI click or something nothing happens 
a lot will it will depend on on the application and and and, and how it's been implemented and obviously we could then You'll notice that when we go to to multiply to the multiply thing, it actually has got an internal name called multiply. It's not just the caption that it's using, because you can see it says multiply there. So we'll click that, and then let's oops, wrong place. So let's just keep going. Let's say five. Click it, and then equals. And then, so let's just clear that. And if we run that, nine times five. There you go. You can see that works. So that works really well. Um, so experimentation is the key. Use that find object wizard to point it at the object you wanna wanna control. See if you can click it. If it's a field, if it's an edit box, you can set its value. Sometimes you can, if in in every case, whether even if it won't accept a click or set its value, it will. You can use the get um, UI get value will return the current value and the position. So at least you, so it's another way that you can get the position of things. So even if it's not a windowed control, which is the way it would work, the old system works. You can get its position. Have fun.